Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. This weekend, you have four big pro football games here in the United States, right? A lot of gamblers are going to descend on numerous sports books to try to get an edge on the casino. Now, many of us think in terms of odds, right? We'll look at a matchup and we'll say, okay, this is a toss up. This is a 50 50 matchup. But of course, we'll see odds like a minus 150 in American odds. And we won't know how to convert that into percentages. Well, let me try to give you a heads up, right? What you want to do is to bring a pad or at least a piece of paper with a pen or pencil with you to the sports book. You also want to have a phone that has a calculator app on it that you know how to use. Let's come up with a shorthand way right now to convert American odds into percentages so we can together try to get an upper hand on the casino. Okay, you see a minus 150 next to a team's name, right? You understand immediately that that team is the favorite, right? Teams next to minuses, right, on the odds are the favorites. So you see a team at a minus 150. Understand what that minus 150 means. You should always think in terms of how many games would the two teams in the game have to play, according to the casino, for the underdog to win 100 games. Right? The answer to that question solves the conversion problem. So you see a minus 150. What they're telling you is that the favorite would win 150 head-to-head -head matchups before the underdog wins its 100th game. That's what a minus 150 means. So what you want to do to convert it over to percentages is simply take that 150, put it at the top of the fraction, and then divide it by the total number of games the teams would have to play for the opponent to win its 100th game. So the fraction would be a 150 on top divided by the 150, that's the number of games that the favorite would win, plus 100, right? The, you know, because that's the number of games that the underdog would win. Right? So it's 150 over 250. Right? It's the 150 that the favorite would win divided by the total number of games. 150 divided by 250 equals 60%. What they're telling you with minus 150 odds is that the casino believes that the favorite would win 60% of the time. Okay? Likewise, let's convert a plus 150. Understand, when you see a team next to a plus sign in the odds category, they're telling you that that team's the underdog. So you see a team next to a plus 150, what they're telling you is that the favorite would win. 150 times before this listed underdog wins its 100th game. Right? So again, it's the same fraction. What you would do on a plus 150 in converting it over is to put the 150 that the favorite would win, divide that by the total number of games, that 150 plus the 100, right? That'll equal 60%, and then you're going to subtract that from 100%, right? 
to see what the casino believes is the percentage for the underdog. So 100 minus 60 gives you 40%. What a plus 150 is telling you is that the casino believes that that underdog only wins 40% of the time, right? Fool around with all of the numbers. Let's quickly do a minus 200, right? What they're telling you is that the favorite would win 200 times before the underdog wins its 100th game. Were these teams to play head to head many times, right? So again, it's 200 divided by 200 plus 100 gives you two-thirds. What a minus 200 is telling you is that the casino believes that the favorite would win 66.7% of the time, right? Another way to look at it is a minus 200 tells you that the casino believes that the favorite would win two out of every three games played between the two players, right? If it's a plus 200, all you need to do is to subtract the 60 from 100, right? Put the two over three, right? And subtract it from one if you're reducing the numbers proportionately. And you'll see that a plus 200 tells you that they believe your underdog is only going to win 33.3% of the time. You need to be able to convert these numbers relatively quickly in a sports book to assess the risks involved in every bet. Understand sometimes the sports books are way off. You might say, okay, well, I believe if these two teams played 10 times, that the favorite would win 45% of the, excuse me, the underdog would win 45% of the time. You might think the favorite has a home field edge or some other edge. Maybe someone's injured on the underdog and you believe the favorite has a slight edge. So if you believe that the favorite's chances of winning are only 55%, then if, if the casino has them listed as a 66.7% favorite, in other words, if the casino is posting odds that suggests that the favorite would win two out of every three matchups, then you'll know, according to the odds, that the favorite is overvalued. Right? Understand, value is the difference between what the casino thinks and what actual reality is, right? And so crunch the numbers, become adept at crunching the numbers, right? Quickly understand that when you see odds of, let's say, a minus 500, what the casino's telling you is that if these teams played six times, the favorite would win five of the six, right? What you want to do is compare and contrast your version of the world with the casinos. If there are differences, that's where you want to look to bet. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Leave any questions you have here online. Understand the gambling community here online is so robust that many times questions get answered quickly by other subscribers. We're all here trying to get an edge on the casino. One tool to help you do that is an ability to convert odds into percentages. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.